Well, hello everyone. I don't know if this battery is going to last a long time, but I wanted to show you something. Well, really, two somethings. We got a couple of troublemakers yesterday. <laughs> We actually been uh, considering getting a couple of goats for a while because uh, the sheep don't eat everything and we thought the goats might clean up the stuff that the sheep don't like. So we've been looking for a while and I found a couple of, uh, I was looking for weathers specifically just because I don't know how bucks react to ewes in heat and how our rams would react to does in heat. So, we found a couple of weathers. I won't say we rescued them, but they were at a place that didn't have fencing. The people had chickens, and that's it. And um, they were basically on uh, leashes tethered to something. And they had a very small pen. So, it just kind of worked out. Uh, we kept them in the backyard last night. Beth got home after dark. It was raining. Uh, but I'm about to go put them out. I thought I might go put them with the llamas. Um, but I really need to make sure that the dogs are okay with them. I don't know that the goats have ever been around dogs. I guess probably not. Except maybe when they were kids. Oh, well, he's a spunky one. So the white one right there is Snickers, and the brown one is Gingerbread. Uh, I'll probably just put them out with the U's right now, and then on a day that it's not 43 degrees and dreary, I will, I'll, uh, I'll take them out and I'll walk out there with them with the dogs and see how they do. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Go on. Nope. We're going out. I don't know that the sheep really know what to think. Um, it's probably only a matter of time before they're up on that little creep thing I made out of scraps. So I know most of these sheep have never seen goats and I doubt these goats have ever seen sheep. Um, they're both Nigerian dwarves. The one might be, the one on the right, the brown one, might be a pygmy cross, I don't know. I don't really care. I just wanted a couple of goat weathers to uh, to eat the crap that the sheep don't. So I'm gonna watch them for a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the video. And um, I'm sure Beth will be out uh, when it's sunnier and warmer to talk about them as well. Well, they're getting into that hay. They really didn't graze in the backyard that much. Um, they were just eating the leaves and stuff, but they seem to like that, so that's good. Hi, goat. Say hi, goats. Kabam! Wapow! How you feel about this weather? Well, they like the hay, so that's good. Can we talk about hay waste for a minute while we're out here? I put this bale out last night at like 9 o'clock. In the rain, in the cold, in the dark. And like, just look how much of it is already spread out and not eaten. It's ridiculous. I gotta, I gotta figure something out. The problem is, hay rings, they're so ridiculously expensive. 
the cradles are even worse. So we got to figure something out. I think the girls might be a little freaked out that the goats are eating their hay because they're all just standing over there like, uh, what's, what's happening here? Why is somebody eating our food? Um, they also may be waiting to get grain. So I guess that's a factor. That little brown one by the fence is trying to get knocked up. But it's not her time yet. Hello, Snickers. Hello, Snickers. Hello, gingerbread. Hello, gingerbread. Hello. Hello. Oh, nice. Hi. Hello. Hi, goats. It's the state of the ranch. The state of the ranch. The state of the ranch. You know, um, Aaron and I have not been doing a good job uh, putting uh, videos up on YouTube because life has just been kind of bananas lately. But we are trying to get back into it and we have some, I think, exciting things coming up. So we thought we would try again. So that's what we've been doing. We've been trying to um, be better at it. So today I thought I would do a state of the ranch and just kind of walk around and tell you guys where everything's at, update you on the animals. Yeah. Because we have like a lot of new furry butts around here since, um, since even the, I mean, this week. Um, so I would introduce you to everyone and you could see kind of what we're up to right now. And I thought, I thought maybe you guys would like that. The state of the ranch. So first off, this kiddo. Did I put your shoes on the wrong foot or did you put your shoes on the wrong foot? Um, it's 60 degrees today, but she insisted on wearing her glasses and her hat and two headbands and her furry boots and her sweats. But this kiddo is with us. She's our only kid with us right now. We hope to have a video on an update for her before the end of the month. Um, she is not in foster care and she is not adopted, but um, we want to update you on that. Um, and she, you know, just kind of, kind of give us a little bit more time because we're not quite ready. But yes, she is with us and she loves to swing in the barn. Huh? Huh? <laughs> yes, you love to swing in the barn. This is one way we keep her busy while we're doing farm stuff. So, cats, this is Finn. Finn hitched a ride in the neighbor's car engine and he got dropped off right before Aaron and I went to vacation out of state. And we said, you know what? If he's still here when we get back, then he can be a barn cat, but we can't have any more indoor cats. So he became a barn cat, and he's a pretty good one. Um, he is best friends with one of our sheep, and he's a good boy. There also was another cat that showed up um, just a couple weeks ago, and that one appears to be a second barn cat now. So... I don't know if that's ideal, but what are you going to do? Hi. You just going to feed them. You just going to feed them, huh? You're handsome. Okay, so this is gingerbread. And this is Snickers. And they are goats. 
you can tell. See how mischievous they are? They, we just got these a few days ago. Um, and they're pygmy or Nigerian, something along those lines. I think they're Nigerian. But they're boys. They're castrated boys, so they're weathers. And the main reason that we got them, you see the goats? The main reason that we got them is because the sheep, um, once they get off the pasture, it's, it's pretty wrecked. <laughs> Let me try to get some light here. Uh, once the sheep get off the pasture, it's pretty wrecked, but there are some things that the sheep just won't eat. And what happens is, is if all the grass and forages get eaten, but some weeds and brush don't, then the weeds and brush tend to start taking over. So we thought we would try to um, see about putting some goats on it and see how that works. So that's why we got the goats. They're super cute. This one, this baby girl, absolutely loves them. And uh, we, we're really enjoying them so far. It's gonna be a bit of trial and error learning how to take care of them because they have some, some big differences from sheep, which is what most of our experience is in. But we really like them so far, huh? You like the goats? Goats, goats, hi goats. The sheep, they're not sure how they feel about them yet. They, um, when the, uh, the goats go to, uh, to eat the hay, the sheep kind of hang back and they're like, um, what are you? Sheep are like notoriously kind of very species and species, just species, just, um, hi blue. What you doing? You thought you'd come, come say hi? Hi. Hi. Oh, there's the other cat. There's the other barn kitten. Um, she, we think it's a she. We don't know for sure because we've actually never been able to touch her. Hi. She is, uh, there's Pete, our indoor cat, but she, um, we have to catch her at some point because we need to go get her to be fixed and get some shots and that kind of thing, but yeah, as of now, we haven't been able to touch her. We've been working on that. We just call her baby cat. So, that's that. So, this is one of our, in quotations, dry lots right now because as you can see, we have a lot of straw and hay on, on, the, um, on the ground. This is where, well, the goats are because we wanted to see how they did with sheep and how the sheep did with them. So this is where our ewes are. Um, right now, it's mainly baby dolls in here but there's some harlequins as well um these are all baby dolls right here this little section is all baby dolls and those two are harlequins um who are we missing we're missing one baby doll and one no two baby dolls um so they're in a separate group and then the boys are over here in a separate area uh, because with the weather getting colder and the days getting shorter that signals them to start humping <laughs> to start breeding so we have to keep them separate or else they will breed when we don't know that they're breeding or want them to breed so our boys are over here in this pen as you can see there is a space in between because otherwise um, Sheep have been known and goats have been known to breed through a fence. So we have a space here. And, oh, she's playing in our creep area that we hobbled together last year and will probably break down this year. This area is where we currently have some sheep breeding. So Aspen is the one with the green on his chest right there. He's the boy. And every other sheep in here is a Harlequin ewe. So 
he has marked some of them like uh, this one's got one, some green on her butt and this one's got some green on her butt he has not marked all of them um aspen was with the sheep girls last year too and he did not get the job done he did not have any babies and i'm not trying to shame you or anything aspen but the vet said you had irregular testicles i mean that's a direct quote so i mean whatever you whatever your feelings are about that you i mean that's just the facts of life so we are giving him his one last shot to try to get the job done or else you're going to lose those irregular testicles. I can't even go in here right now because he's gotten so aggressive that he will ram anything and everything, um, which is our fault. But yeah, he, um, he's a butthead now. That's what you get. If you have irregular testicles, you deserve them, butthead. Um, so yeah, this pen is currently breeding. Um... Next Wednesday, we will move the groups around, take Aspen out of there, put Aspen back over here, and take one of our other rams and put him over there to give a shot. Along with the majority of our ewes will also be breeding next week. There are two or three that we will be holding back because their body condition is just not what we wanted them. They're just not, they just don't have enough thickness. These ladies just ain't thick enough, you know what I'm saying? So, girls, when you get thick, then you can have some babies, but before then, no ma'am. So, there's like three that we're going to hold back. But the rest of them, they should be getting it on in a week's time. Right now, our flock is about, let's see, it's about half and half baby dolls and harlequins. Um, we started with just the Harlequins, and they're very similar breeds. The, the um, Harlequins are also miniature, as well as the baby dolls. Um, Harlequins are generally spotted. Baby dolls are generally solid, but did I say spotted? Harlequins are generally spotted, and baby dolls are generally solid. But there are some, some uh, exceptions to that. Um, so... We have some boys over here that are getting on rain with each other. See that? So we have eight baby doll ewes and nine harlequin ewes. Three of the ones we are not going to be breeding right now are harlequins. So we're actually probably going to end up with less harlequins than baby dolls this year. Which is a bummer because we ended up with that last year. Technically. But... Hi! That's the state of the sheep right now. We're breeding. We're getting, um, we're getting ready to get everyone bred so that in five months time we will have a bunch of babies. So that's super exciting and it's going to be super tiring and we're trying to keep um, logs of when they're going into heat and when they've been marked and all that kind of thing so that um, we can do a better idea, get a better idea of when actually they're going to land because last year it was pretty nuts. Um, we didn't know when anyone was going to go or anything like that. So that's, that's the state of the sheep. So the state of the dogs are that they're napping. There's a dog right there. And there's a dog over in the hay where she's not supposed to be chilling with a llama. Um, this one is actually the other one's daughter. Um, the mom ran off and we never found her again, which is unfortunate. And now we have the daughter. So we have the two livestock guardian dogs. That is Abe. That is the black male llama we have. Oh, here comes Tilly. Here comes Tilly girl. And that's Arthur. They're supposed to sleep during the day and be active during the night. That's kind of what their breed does. So there's Abe, and let's see, I have to do a state of the llamas. There is Lola, can you see her back behind there? There, that's Lola, she is the mama llama. Um, she has now given us two babies um, with Abe. 
she's she's bratty you know every time i try to go feed her she spits in my face which you know i don't thoroughly appreciate or anything um she's a bit of a brat time to maybe go get spit on spit on spit on time to maybe go get spit on look at her cranky face hi lola look at her ears back already got an attitude but I wanted to show you her baby Petunia, who is, we had a burn pile here, um, who is about six months old now. And she is not friendly either because she's learned from her mother not to be friendly. Thank you, Lola. Hi, Tilly. Hi, Tilly. Ah, ah, don't you jump on me. There's Abe. No, don't you jump on me. You heard me. You have bad manners. So, Tilly, my goodness. So, little baby Petunia, she's six months old now. We only have, <laughs> you've been laying in the hay. You've been laying in the hay, sweet girl. Uh, we only have probably what I would feel comfortable is um, two or three more months before we need to separate her from dad. Um, I don't think female llamas come into sexual maturity until they're two years old but males um, will try to breed their daughters if they're around them so we either have to get Abe a friend like a weather friend and put him in a separate pasture or we will have to no do not jump on me or we will have to put uh, Abe and Lola in a pasture and then get a friend for Miss Petunia but those are the llamas. They, we did not get them sheared this year, which we probably should have in hindsight, but we didn't. Um, and so they will be sheared hopefully super early next year, um, along with maybe having their teeth trimmed. But they act as our livestock guardian llamas. But I, I don't know if they're, <laughs> if they work all that much in that regard. Um, they kind of do their own thing, you know, but we like them. Come here, my good boy. Come here, my good boy. My angel baby. Demon. Angel baby. Yes. Look at this angel baby. Oh, you are just my kind of guy. You are just my kind of guy. Do y'all remember when we got him? He's so big now. Look, I'm like six feet tall. He like comes up to my hip. Pretty crazy. So if you are new or um, just haven't checked up with us in a while, because we haven't been making videos, um, those are the animals we have now. We have the two goats. We have a couple dozen sheep, baby dolls, and harlequins. We have the three llamas. We have the two livestock dogs, two barn cats bunch of indoor cats and a kiddo and that's what we have right now um as far as Aaron and I he has gone back to work sometimes he gets to telework but not it's it's very sporadic uh, every time he has he's been scheduled to telework he has to go in anyway to do something so that's not that hasn't really been working in our favor but he's back at work and I am not working. I have had a lot of health issues lately, um, a lot of issues with migraine, and um, hopefully going to get that worked out soon, going to see a new neurologist, um, doing stuff like that. But I am not working, so I am home and try to get stuff done here and there, but it all depends on if I've decided to have a migraine that day or not. But we're doing well. We are excited for the holidays. Um, I'm not excited for the colder weather and the relentless oppression of fall to beat down on me and it's gray and dreary <sighs> coldness. Not into it. I'm a summer girl. You guys know this. I'm not into it, but it's whatever. Uh, don't chase the sheep. If you're wondering how many times per day I say don't chase the sheep, it's about 60 to 65. Um, 
get you. Get you. Um, but that's how we're doing. And we're going to try to keep you guys updated a lot more. I'm just kind of let you know what we've been doing. Like, I'm going to do a video. Actually, I did one last year um, about what's in our um, lambing cabinet. I did it um, like early last year, like January last year or something. And then I never uploaded it. So I I'm probably redo that one. Um, and basically just keep you all updated with what we're doing maybe take you along when we do fun stuff like the the little halloween thing and i hope you kind of like stuff like that and if you don't that's okay too you know that's okay um but we miss you guys and we love you and we hope you're all doing well and thank you for all those who have stayed in touch with us either on facebook or instagram or we put funny videos on TikTok now Trying to, trying to keep up with the cool kids, you know? So um, follow us there, follow us here. We love you guys, and we hope you will continue to hang out with us and see what's going on with our family. And we will update you very soon about the kiddo. Okay, thanks, bye.